I want to thank you for coming to meet with us today. I'm really excited that um, we're able to get to know you even a little bit better. I know when you were here and I was here at the same time, we didn't really get to know one another very well, but I certainly appreciated talking to you the other night. That was super fun to get to know a little bit more about you. And I, I even Googled you. <laughs> and you are all over the interwebs. So good job. Um, so um, let's go ahead and get started. And um, this month we're focusing on disabilities awareness. And um, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself and um, kind of your your inter your experiences here at Winners Mill. Tell us a little bit about that and um, where you are now. All right, so I'm Hannah. Um, I'm a Winners Mill alum, and so now I go to school at Mount St. Mary's University, and I'm on the swim and dive team here. Um, I am trying to get on the national team for the Paralympics for Paris 2024, and that will that's the goal. Um, so that's a little bit about me. Thank you. Oh, touch with fame. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about um, your disability and when you found out about it. All right. So I have cerebral palsy and I've had it for as long as I can remember. Um, so my parents found out about it when I was, I'm guessing when I was, when I was born. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, that basically it impairs my muscle power, my coordination, and um, my range of motion. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's hard to explain, but that's the gist. So what is it that made you get get interested in swimming? Um, so I started swimming just for fun when I was really, really little. And then now I'm sort of, I just started competitively swimming like about five years ago. So, okay. So that's great. And, then, and, and Hannah, like with your disability, was that something that your parents had to, like, you, do you remember having like a formal conversation uh, about that as you were like coming up and growing up, or like it was just something that like you um, just always have dealt with? I think it was something that I dealt with, but also my parents just said, hey, just take your disability, don't, don't make it, it's something that's a part of you, you, can, you can't change it, but don't let it define you, and don't let anybody else define you by it, yeah. so. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, well, I think that probably gets into a little bit of our next question here about, tell me about some of your experiences as they relate to learning disabilities, and that can be really any, whether it's you know, swimming or academically or just personally? So academically, um, for taking tests, it takes me a little bit longer because of the, um, because with CP, you, you use more energy with everything that you do. So when I'm writing a test, um, it takes a little bit longer because I have to, I have to use the energy to write the test. And then plus, um, know the information so mm -hmm. is there anything as far as you know as far as your you know semi-professional swimming career that you're involved in now uh is there anything that's hindered you or that you've noticed you had to work harder than, than some others with swimming um so with the swimming aspect i feel like i just work have to work 10 times as hard as my teammates to get to my standards where I need to be, but that doesn't really, it just mean, it just makes it more rewarding once you get to the spot you're trying to get to. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. How did you find your experiences academically, like over the years in terms of the support that you received or, um, you know, do you feel like, how do you feel about that? Yeah, um, I think it was, I think it was really helpful, the, um, all the support at Winners Mill is great. Um, <laughs> you, you no, no, reason, no reason to plug Winners Mill High School. <laughs> well, certainly, did you use any of your experiences here academically to help you in the college setting? Because you have to advocate for yourself a little differently in college. Yeah. So um, 
I think just talking to your teachers slash professors, I think it helps, especially in college. They don't, you have to go up and find them. It's, it's a change of, change of pace, but it, it works. So, yeah. Yeah. It's college and it's college to the point where, you know, you ever have to tell any of your professors about your disability. It does it get to that particular point with them or you just, you know, tackle things as they kind of come to you? You sort of you sort of tackle things as they come at you. Mm-hmm. Um, but for me, I like to um, for certain professors, I like to tell them ahead of time based on how I think the class is going to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so Hannah, have you ever found that people treat you any differently because of your disability and then, you know, or make incorrect assumptions or? Um, yeah, I think there's definitely a negative stigmatization with disability. Um, not now. Um, I feel like people the people that I'm with now have matured a little bit, but, um, I know, I know like when we were younger, people used to assume that people with disabilities, they always need help. Mm -hmm. Um, so, but the way to like combat that is just tell them when you need help and when you don't need help and they should be able to, should be able to know. When, when to help you and when to not. So you're so you're like I don't need help as you swim past them in the swimming pool. <laughs> 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 yeah. They probably find out very fast. Like you probably don't need help with swimming. You're probably, you're probably good to go. <laughs> have you met any? Have you met any challenges? Um, you know, just socially as, as like a you know a kid just going through high school. And I mean that's. Um, you know, really like your your peak at your 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 you're at your social peak, if you will, in high school and going through that. And I remember you being here. Um, not just marveled at you know the the friends that you had and how social you were. So it didn't seem like you ever struggled with that. Is that something that you had to work on, or did that just come easily to you? Um, I think it I think it came easily to me. Um, just. Yeah, I think it. I think it came easy, easy, easy to me. I don't know. Like, I feel like the more peop, different types of people that you're around, the more comfortable you feel in the situation. So, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to all your your great friends out there. If you guys, yeah. are, <laughs> you guys watch this, he has awesome friends. <laughs> So then, Hannah, what advice would you give to anyone out there who might be struggling with their disability? Um, I think that um, you shouldn't let your disability define who you are, but it's always going to be part of you, like I said before. But you really shouldn't let that stop you from achieving anything you want to achieve. Like, I think that that's a big takeaway is like I know especially for me now um I have a meet coming up in December it's a really big meet and I know I know I'm trying to work really really hard for it um I think I think that that's that that's a good example like you really shouldn't let anything stop you just just because your disability yeah it's it's a part of you but so yeah now the athlete in me wants to ask you the question about your training regimen, like what to prepare for that meet. What does that training look like? So right now, um, I am swimming doubles. Um, so I'll either have lift in the morning and swim in the afternoon, or I'll have two swims. Um, five. So how much time six, in the pool every day? Um. Well. Every day, I could tell you by week. Um, yeah. <laughs> so right now, I'm swimming about nine to ten hours a week. Oh, so, man. yeah, yeah, um, that's a lot. What is, what is your what's your what's your diet consist of? Because um, I marvel at <laughs> swimmers that they could just eat 
Like, I remember listening to Michael Phelps, and he was like, I eat, like, 30 pancakes and, like, all this stuff. <laughs> so, like, you're burning so much energy. So, like, what is, what is your diet like? Yeah, we can eat a lot. Um, <laughs> I... I try to um, I try to keep it healthy. I try to balance it out. Um, I think just you definitely have to eat a lot with swimming. Like it doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is, but sometimes it doesn't. But <laughs> most of the time it does. So it really depends on like the meet that you're going into. If you're going into a championship meet, um, you you really wanna you really wanna keep it. Uh, lean protein and jazz. Yeah. Yes. Okay. yeah. The good stuff, right? So the people, <laughs> so the cafeteria workers know you very well at, at oh, the yeah. Night. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, so Hannah, just a couple more things I think to touch on here is, um, is there any advice that you can give people to learning more about disabilities? Um, you know, to, to expand their own knowledge. I think the best thing is just to um, talk with someone with a disability, you know. I think that's the um, the best source of information because if you go online, there's lots of good information there, but um, sometimes when you learn, like, personal experiences, that's just the best way to go because online can be very misleading and, yep. Yeah, and I certainly appreciate you sharing with us because I think it does certainly does open up um, those those avenues of learning. Um, and then, is there anything that makes this particular month or recognition um, special or important to you? I think I think it's very important because, um, like this month, a lot of people are not open to learning about this sort of stuff. But then, if there's a certain month designated to it they feel more impacted to learn about it because it's just it's all over and they don't feel they don't feel pressured to learn yeah well, I, I want to thank you for your courage you know i told you this you know you came to homecoming and we kind of <laughs> i kind of scooped you up and like hey we want, want to do this but you, you very easily could have said you know what mr brown I, I'm cool, man. I'm swimming. You know, I, I don't really want to bring any added attention to myself, no type of things. But you are, um, whether you realize it or not, you're a hero to 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 others. And it's hard for you to comprehend that. But I want you to kind of walk in that as you continue to to grow and age and everything else that like you are a hero mm -hmm. to those people um, that whether they have your disability or not. Um, you're, you're a hero to me. You know, I look up to you because there's certain things you persevered in life that is just, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, Seriously. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hannah, how can we cheer for you this next meet coming up? All right. Um, can we watch you on TV? I'm not, I'm not positive for sure, but I'm, I'm 80% positive it's going to be live streamed. Nice. Okay, so do we go to Mount St. Mary's? Do we go to... So this meet is the, um, it's the Paralympic National Championships. Okay. And um, it's in North Carolina, and I'm pretty positive it's going to be live streamed, so. Okay. Great. Awesome. Well, we need to make sure we get, we get online so we can support you, yeah. cheer for yeah. you, whether you can hear us or not, just know that... <laughs> You know, close your eyes and think because we're, we're out there cheering for you, wishing you well, knowing you're going to do well. Then more importantly, um, keep your eyes on that goal of, you know, the Olympics when you get the chance. And, and I think that you'll be able to get there and show out and do well. But I'm looking forward to all of those things for you because you're, you're phenomenal. Keep doing big things. And thank you so much for doing this. Um, Thank your parents, you know. Yeah. Can you shout out to your parents? <laughs> All right, I will. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks yeah. a lot. So, um, thank you, Hannah. Thank Swim you. fast. Swim fast. Thank you. <laughs>